What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. I don't own the rights to this song, just want to let y'all know that. It's the 9 o'clock hour, Men's Monday. Y'all know what it is. What it came back for you? I just needed time to do what I had to do. Look, I got my tea today, guys. I ain't sick, but I'm on my tea regimen at night now. And uh, I like this, this tea that I got. And it says, the one who listen. Turn this down. It says, the one that listen, who listens, understand. Mm. Food for thought. Right? So what's up, fellas? How y'all doing tonight? I hope y'all Monday was great. Hope y'all weekend was blessed. Hope everything went your way, you know. It's your boy, B on here. What's your boy, For Men's Monday. And we see what the topic is. Do you still got it? This is going to be kind of like a, I say, hey, everybody on Facebook over here. Um, this is kind of like a two, three part type thing, but it's not going to be long. And, um, I'm talking about do you still got it, right? You don't want the rights to this. So, we're going to jump on it. Remember, I don't own the rights to this. I had to put on the Ashton Martin music, right? The Ricky Ross, right? Because that's that music that you just ride to. Are you ride by yourself or you ride with your wife? <laughs> Are you just cruising the city, doing your thing, feeling good about yourself and wondering, do you still have it, right? Do you still got them looking at you? Is that a, is, who's them? Them are them who you not be married to. <laughs> are they still looking at you? Does it still spark your eye? Do you still got the skills to pay the bills? Right? Popcorn ready. <laughs> so my wife is ready for this one. I don't know where this is going, but you know, maybe we should. Maybe maybe we should pray this one in right here. You know, even though it's it's a men's Monday, all my fellas should be in here. You know what I mean? So. We're talking about do you still got it? Do you still got the skills to pay the bills? You know, um, I wanted to talk a little about a little bit about that. You know what I mean? Even though the fact that you done got older now and mature in life, do you still like you lost your skills? You lost your swag. Um, do you still feel like you got it, or do you feel like you're old? Like, do you feel old? When you feel young, you know, you still feel vibrant. You still feel like, you know, you don't feel your age. You feel young. Can you actually, can people really tell your age just off of your looks and how you feel and how you go about life? Like, can they, can somebody just guess what age range, just how you, you know, go about life and feel your swag and everything like that, you know? Yeah. Um, and do you feel that you still have your swag even though you got married? You know, because like I said, this is really for marriage community. So I like to put that out there. This is really for marriage community. So do you feel like once you got married, you got born, you got lame, you're not funny no more, you're not exciting, you're not adventurous, you're like, I'm married, I got her. I don't have to get that this. I don't have to get turned up for it. I don't have to get, you know, swagged out for real, lady. <laughs> My producer's over here dropping popcorn. Can't even handle it. Alright, so do you feel that way? Do you feel like now that you got married that it's it is what it is? Like this is it? This is I I can do the sweatpants every day, I can do the workout fit every day, hmm. I can do the you know, dress up only for special occasions, you know, 
Or do you, you know, do you turn up on your swag on the weekends? You know what I mean? Is it the weekend you, you get your swag on and, and wifey be like, yo, who is this? Do she, do she got nicknames for you? Like, are you, do you got different personalities that she just, like, like for me, my wife, when I'm that cool, fun person, she call me by my middle name. You know what I mean? She called me by my middle name when I'm that cool young dude. She like, she called me by my middle name and she like, she like that dude. She she got something going on with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> she got something going on with him. I don't even know about. You know. So so you know what I mean. That's another thing about that, right? So, of course, um, another thing. Do you prove to yourself? That you still got it, you know, you, and you can prove to yourself that you still got it um, and not keeping up with just like the youth far as just like athletic wise or health wise, but just saying that you still got it, but you still got the, you still, you move in a wise mentality, you know, you've got more of a wise thought to everything, the way you move, the way you go about things. Um, so... I like to say, to me, per se, I think, on me, I think I still got it. Yeah. I think I still got it. Now, the thing about still having it, right? The thing about still having it is, what approvals are you accepting with still having it? You know what I'm saying? Are you getting those approvals from your wife? Or you getting those proof from others or them. That's what I like to call them. them. You know, other people out in, you know, public, other people out in society. And before I transition over to her versus them, you know, if you're on this call, you feel like you still got your swag. You still funny. You still cool. You still, you know, you can run with the best of them. You know, your confidence is still there. Nothing left, you know. You just got a little older in age, but hey, you still you still got your swag. You still got your funny. You still can carry on a good conversation and be still respectable and hang out with the young cats and they don't even know that you your age, you know, and stuff. You got the wisdom, but you can still just talk to them. You know their language because the language change, you know what I mean? Um, you just hang out with the young guys. Like they, they even see the swag no so much. They like, they might question, "Are you married?" <laughs> right? That type of swag. You know what I mean? Where you just cool with it, you know, and you just vibing with all that. And they be like, "Man, that's a cool dude," you know, and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Having your swag and still having it. Now, some of us. Once we got married, everything just went downstream. Like, we lost our confidence. You know what I mean? We don't have confidence in ourself. Um, you know, we feel like we not we might not be in a uh, financial spot or we, not might, we might not be at a job or a situation that we're in and we feel like that right there make you kind of go into a depression mode where you feel like you're not the person you used to be, which you're not once you get married, but the fact that you don't have that same confidence. You don't have that same enthusiasm about life. You don't have that same excitement, that same drive, that same hustle. Because that changes too, you know. Your hustle can change from season to season, from, you know, s stages in the marriages, your hustle can change. Do you feel like you still got that young hustle mentality, that energetic hustle mentality to grind it out to get to the goals that you're trying to meet and expectations, right? So when I talk to people and talk to the men about, you know, do you still got it? It's a good thing to still have it, but it's a good thing to have it in the right way and in the right manner of still having it, you know? You can still hang with the young crowd. You can hang up with the older crowd. You can hang with the middle-aged crowd. You just can fit in. You can vibe with everybody. You know what I mean? 
So, what I mean by you still have it. Now, the thing that we come across is, which I'm going to transition to the transition stage is, her versus them. Now, that's when you come into like a roadblock, right? And I'm kind of laughing about this because it's, it's comical, but it's serious at the same time, you know? And sometimes you might be looking for an approval that you might not be getting at at home, right? You might not be getting the confidence or to know that you still got it from your wife. You might have a, a co-worker that compliments you more than your wife, you know? And if you're in that situation, that's a, that's a sit-down conversation, you know, with your wife, you know what I'm saying? To let her know, like, hey, like, I don't think that, you know what I'm saying, like, you value me, you know? I don't think you value me. I don't think you, you know what I'm saying, you don't see me in the same light like you used to see me. Like, you, I don't know what changed, you know? You don't compliment me. You don't even, you know, I don't know. You don't even want to do things no more together. But when it's her versus them, it's like this. Them can boost your head up to a maximum limit that can lead into different temptations, you know, versus her. Because, like I said, you're not getting that same attention at home. You're not getting that same love at home. You know, um, and I asked, um, I talked to a lot of guys about this. I was like, how do you respond when you get somebody at work that compliments you compared to your wife? You know what I mean? And so, most of my guys I talk to, they say they kind of shrug it off. You know what I'm saying? And, you know... They scrub it off. They don't pay no attention to it. They don't entertain it far as on that conversational level. You know, if like somebody were to say, dang, you looking good today. You know, you might do a little funny joke. Yeah, I know I'm looking good. You know what I'm saying? Or you might say, thank you. You know what I'm saying? They're like, okay, this is how you look outside of work. They might say something like that. You know what I mean? And so you're like, yeah, at work is just work, you know, but, you know, I like to dress up and outside of it. Now, it's the kind of attention that you give back to that response that you got to kind of maintain yourself and be in a wise mentality as being married. You know what I mean? Now, those compliments are boosting your confidence up, you know. And, you know, that might make you want to go to work even more. You know what I'm saying? That might make you want to go to work even more. Because, like I said, you're not getting that confidence builder at home. And your wife should be boosting your confidence at all times. You know what I mean? And if she's not boosting your confidence at all times, like, do she really got your back? Do she really got your interest? You know what I mean? Because think about it. It's like, I'll put an analogy like this, right? Uh, I put it as far as like a kid analogy, right? So say a kid is out and um, he got a parent at home, but he got a coach at the uh, wherever he work out, play basketball, football, whatever, right? But the coach always is giving him praises about, you know, how good he's doing and all this other stuff. But the parent is either not giving that um, positive feedback or they're critiquing and criticizing everything. That's the analogy I could put it far as like in a kid versus a coach versus their parent. The same thing with your wife. You know what I'm saying? You might be getting that confidence somewhere else and it makes you feel better in that atmosphere because it's not at home that you're getting that confidence. You're not getting boosted. You're not getting, you know, uplifted by your wife. So that right there can bring in a whole different avenue of different things in your life. And that's when as us as being a leader of the house, it's nothing wrong with telling your wife that, hey, you know, do you, you know, first answer the question, do you, do you still love me or do you, you know, 
do you do you feel that I'm I got a place in this house? Do you know you gotta answer these questions and then you say, Why don't you like say I look good sometime? It's nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know us men, we could be hard, we don't have to hear that, but it's good to hear that. It's good to hear those positive feedback coming from someone that you lay next to every night that you love, you know what I mean? It's better to hear that from them than to hear that from the outside, right? You know, and you know, this man talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know when your wife is looking good and she walked past the room and the butt out, you give it a butt tap. You might not say nothing, you know what I'm saying? But you give it a, you know, a little butt tap. How's it going? Your little butt tap, right? And when she walk past, tap on the butt. She like, Man, don't be doing that. She know that's saying hello. She knows that's saying you watching her. But sometimes we can't do that all the time. You got to still verbalize and still say stuff like that. But at the same time, at the same time, this, this a man called talk. I'm about to talk to y'all, man. This man talk. At the same time, she can give you the, the top of the head tap. <laughs> yeah. I said it. She grab you up when you walk. Oh, whoa, what was that? You know what I mean? Just like we tap they butt, they tap us too. You know what I mean? She should be tapping you if she not. It's a problem. Tell her to jump on my my wife's uh, women's call on Thursday, and she'll tell you about the tap. You know what I mean? But anyway, they tap, they tap too. You know what I mean? And stuff. So, you know, that's the thing is her versus them, right? Because if you get that attention somewhere else, and now you feel like, yeah, I still got it. You know what I'm saying? What's that making you feel like? It's making you feel like that she might can be replaced. Which she can be replaced. I mean, even though the time that you invested in it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, being that you're married, you can't entertain those levels and those thoughts. You know what I mean? So that's why you have to come back to the home and talk like, hey, you know, I get compliments everywhere, you know, and you're like, oh, really? You're like, yeah, but I want them from you. I don't want them from everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the wife going to ask, so who is these other people that are complimenting you? I'm just, we don't have to get into all that. Yeah. But she's going to say, I want to get into all that. No, you. the, the whole point of this conversation is I want to hear good positive things from you 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 the one i love you the one that i'm with you know you're my best friend i want to hear these things that i'm hearing out in the street and i feel like that you don't value me you don't appreciate me you know um you just not compassionate for me like that you know what i'm saying but i got women out in the street that are telling me all the time you know good compliments and good things like that and I'm not getting that at home. You know what I mean? I'm not even getting like, you know, babe, you look good, you know. It ain't gotta be like when I dress up. You just say it. You know what I'm saying? Or like like I told you guys, like like, you know, she could say things like I can't believe I'm I'm married to you. But at the same time us as men, we got to make sure that we keeping the swag right for the wifey at the crib. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I go back to my first point. Do you still have it? Because after you got married, you just said, F it. I got it. It's cool. And you go about a routine now. You don't even try to impress your wife. Right? So when I'm talking about do you still have it and you married, you should be always trying to impress your wife, always trying to look good for her, always trying to shine, you know what I'm saying, for your wife. You should always be trying to shine, look good, you know what I mean, look straight, always surprising her with your looks, not even with 
with surprises or gifts, but just the way you look, your appearance, you know what I'm saying? Make her feel good that she's with you. You know what I'm saying? Make her feel like, dang, I, I'm married to him. Like, this is my dude. You know what I'm saying? It should make her feel good when y'all go out in public. But she know that you hers, but she know that you still got the swag where other females still look at you or still admire you. But you give her the confidence to let her know that, hey, you minds, we together, this is it, this is us. You know what I'm saying? We both looking good out here. I don't even know if she want me or you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that type of confidence, right? That type of confidence, right? That's how you should have it, right? You know? And so, so you know, I like to talk about, you know, do you still have it? And like I said, getting back to do you still have it is also just, you know, being a guy that you had that swag in. Like, my wife talked about a conversation about um, a couple weeks ago about she talked to the ladies about being the girlfriend again. Yeah. Fellas, we got to be the boyfriend again. You know what I'm saying? We got to do the things that we did before we got married to our wives and to be that dude with the swag when you pulled up. You get what I'm saying? Pulled up with the food for, straight from the barbershop. You know what I mean? Haircut, clean, you know, pull up. What we doing tonight? You remember that? Huh? What we doing tonight? What we doing tonight, babe? Calling up. Oh, what about this? Now, I know some of y'all probably fell off this. I'm gonna, I, You know why? Because I fell off of it. That's why I said, what about this? You remember this? Remember the call up? Hey, what's up? What you doing? Nothing. Get ready. I'm about to be over there. What, <laughs> get ready for what? Like, get ready to go out or get ready to stay in the bed? You know what I mean? Either or, it works. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to tell her, hey, get ready. Get ready. We're about to go somewhere. All right, I'll be there about 15 minutes. All right? 30 minutes, all right? She get ready. She come out looking nice. You know what I'm saying? You already fresh because you're on your way over there. You call home and wait. Feeling good. Feeling nice. You know what I mean? Ready to go have a great time. You know? Or it could be the other thing. You know what I'm saying? You ready? You ready? Just came from working out. Went to, went to the gym. Took a shower. See yourself in the mirror. You know what I mean? Same thing back at home. You went to the gym, took a shower. You're like, oh yeah, I'm looking good. Muscles looking, you know what I'm saying? Potent. You know what I'm saying? Muscles out there. You know what I mean? I'm about ready to do damage. I'm ready for the, I'm ready for the second workout, you know? So. Sip tea to that. Yeah, I had to sip some tea to that. That tea's good too, actually. That's some ginger tea right there. You know what I mean? You ain't always got to have ginger tea when it's sick outside, guys. You have ginger tea. It's cold in, outside. Oh, it's sick. I call it sickness because that's what it is when it's cold. It's sickness, flu, weather, whatever, all that. Just have you some tea. Um, so I got on that aspect about it, about do you still got it. Those are the couple of notes that I take to... To just, you know what I'm saying, just to keep us on game, guys. We got to stay on game. We got to keep each other on point. You know what I mean? You know, I wanted to do something. If anybody in Georgia, um, like Lawrenceville, the Kula area, I actually wanted to do something probably in the next couple of weeks since it's getting really nice outside, you know. I wanted to take a couple of guys and meet up at the park and play some basketball with some young cats. You get know what I'm saying? Just to go. It's for exercise. You know what I mean? It's for exercise, but I still want to win. You know what I mean? Still want to be competitive, right? So, I wanted to see if we still got it in that type of aspect. Maybe we can meet up at the park and play a couple games. And, you know, it's a lot of young cats that be out there at the park that I go to. It's actually Rabbit Hill. It's a lot of young cats that be at the park. A lot of real young cats. And I wanted to see, you know, they don't really have, like... When I used to play ball and we used to go to the park, we used to go to Best Friends, you know. And it would be a lot of older cats out there playing. So you had to, you know, beef it up, body down, whatever. You know, we'd do that. Lucky shows when we used to. You know how it was. The older, older dudes was out there playing with the young guys, right? So 
this park up this way, I'm seeing more young guys out there than the average. I'm not seeing no older cats, so I wanted to see how the older cats get out there and try to school the young cats, you know what I mean? We ain't got to run fast up and down the court, but we just getting mm -hmm. our exercise and doing our thing, you know what I mean? Like that, right? Doing those things. So, like I said, do you still got it? Do you feel that you still got it? Anybody can chime in. Any fellas that's on, you can chime in. Do you feel like you still got it or do you feel like you lost it? Or do you feel like, you know, you're just in a place right now that your confidence is not there? And if that's the point, that's what this community is about. This is about, you know, men's money is about, you know, building each other up as men. You know, we want it to be an avenue where we can actually find out what's the problem of why once we got married. Because you can't just like, once you get married, you can't settle. And I mean settle for who you are. You know what I mean? You can't settle for who you are. And hopefully your wife wouldn't want you to settle for who you are. She wants you to grow too. And so we got to keep on growing and still, uh, what do we call it? What's, what's that thing? What we transform? Well, we still got to transform. Transition. Transition with the times and with the, with the youth and with the community and with what's going on and still stay, you know, hip to things, stay swagged up. You know what I mean? Keep your ears close to the street a little bit just to see still a little bit what's going on. You know, new stuff that I'm learning, even from my younger son, they saying these weird words, you know, it's weird to us. But, you know, I'm figuring out how to use them because I need to know what they're talking about. <laughs> right. So, you know, that's just, you know, do you still got the skills to pay the bills? You know, keeping yourself up, keeping yourself right for the wife, keeping it tight. You know what I'm saying? With your kids be, you know. I went out the other day, um, probably last week, my, my son was like, you know, I had on some J's or whatever. My son was like, Daddy, them shoes are cool, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like, Daddy, them shoes are cool. He don't even know what Jordans are, you know. He just thought they was cool, you know. He liked the color and everything. It's like, Daddy, them shoes are cool. I was like, okay, all right, you know. My young, little young me, you know. So, just building the swag up. As far as us fellas, you know, we got to keep the swag going, got to keep the energy going, got to keep being adventurous. That's another thing we get to the point of. We feel like now that we got to a certain age, you just chill. You don't turn into a couch potato. You know what I'm saying? You can't be no couch potato. You still got to be adventurous. You still got to live life. We just started, you know? A lot of us, we just started. This is where we live, right? Watching our kids grow, live, come to the... That's what I'm saying. You got kids playing sports, whatever. You come to the game with your swag on. they like, I don't know if he's the cousin, the uncle, or the daddy. That's what you want to have to say, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because your swag is on just like that. You got to have your swag on point, you know what I'm saying? Let them know you still got it. And even when you out there, you might go out there and, like I said, who? Hoop out with the young cats. They be like, oh, old school. They gonna call you old school. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We called them old school. When we played, it was some old schools out there. But them old schools had some shots, you know. They might shoot for that one spot on the court, but you better make sure he didn't get to that spot, you know. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, we still gotta have these skills, right? We gotta still have these tools. And what I'm telling you is, what we get when we have these tools and we have this swag and stuff, everything is meant for your best friend, which should be your wife, your partner in crime. You know what I mean? She should be the most important one that should be really taking heed to all the things that you're doing. And, you know, at the same time, I know you might be doing, you might be dressing up for yourself or you might be working out for yourself, but you're also working out for her too. You want her to fall in love with your swag, with your skills, you know what I'm saying? She wanted, when she look at you, she want to look at that dude she fell in love with, mm. right? So you want to keep that going. You want to keep them skills going. You want to keep that swag going. You want to keep that energy that she, she fell in love with. She fell in love with that energy dude. She fell in love with the funny dude. Not the lame dude, you know? 
the funny dude, you know, you're not doing lame stuff, you're doing funny stuff, you're staying excited, you're staying adventurous, you're staying energetic, you're staying active, you always moving, you know, you got to consistently keep moving, you know, and sometimes us men, we can fall into a depression and we won't tell nobody, we won't tell nobody, because usually our depression comes in different forms, like what I've been noticing is, and reading a little bit about men depression is most of our depression comes from um isolation we gotta isolate ourselves we won't have nobody to talk to about something or we'll you'll fall into that sleep pattern mode where you feel like you always tired you always tired about something you just tired you just fed up you just tired that's the sign of depression right there you know, when you feel like you're always tired and you, and you don't want to do nothing. You don't want to do nothing with the family. You don't want to go to the park. You don't want to do nothing. You just want to sit on TV, sit, watch TV all day. That's a form of depression. You want to sit up there and eat all day, eat up the, eat up the house. Those are depressions that us men, we don't talk about a lot. Eating, stop working out, sleeping not being active, no community with other fellas. When my last conversation, my last conversation on last week was about no new friends. And I talked about how all of us men need to be having new friends. We need new friends. You need new friends, right? No matter what you say, new friends in business, new friends in mentoring, new friends in guidance. If, if another man got something besides his wife that you want, you should be able to go after it. You know what I mean? And if not, you should lean heavily on that man to teach you or to show you how to get it. You know what I'm saying? Because that right there is going to build your confidence up. Right? That's going to still let you know that you still got it. You know? They say, uh, what you say? They say you can't teach a old dog new tricks. Well, I don't believe that, you know. I believe that you can teach anybody as long as they're willing to learn, right? Mm -hmm. As long as somebody's willing to learn, you can teach them. And so, you know, as far as your skills and stuff like that, and that's another thing. If you got, like, kids and stuff, or you got teenagers that are coming up in the household, Bond with them more. That'll, that'll bring your swag up too. Bond with your teenage kids more. And then figure out what's going on. Figure out what's hip. Just chill with them. Kick it with them. You know what I mean? You understand, they understand you the parent. You know, they understand that. But at the same time, you want to be a parent. I don't want to say like friend, but you want to be also like they feel like they can talk to you about anything too. Like, they would talk to one of their road dogs, you know? Or they would talk to one of their boyfriends or girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? You want to make them feel comfortable, and that's where, like, you know what? Dad, cool, man. I know I'm going through this. I just need to talk to him. You know what I mean? I know Dad, he, he ain't going to, like, trip. He going he gonna to tell me what it is. He going to give me the real. He ain't going to trip. I might not take his advice. If they don't take our advice, that's okay, because... That's a learning experience. They got to bump their head. We can't, you know what I'm saying, we can't guide them on every situation. And you might give them good advice because you've been down that road, but that don't mean they're going to take your advice. Sometimes they might need to learn on their own or might want to prove to themselves that they can do it on their own. And I ask you for that advice. But the fact that you're around and you still got the skills and they're like, yo, you know, have you ever had, fellas, have you ever went over to that parent house when you was growing up and they dad, they dad had the swag, you ain't want to give him his props on it, but you like, yo, yo, he still got swag. Look at him. You know what I'm saying? He out here chilling, you know, doing his thing, watching his car still on Saturday like he 20 something years old, you know, <laughs> riding around town, right? So, do you still got it? And this is the thing. The main thing of this conversation is do you still got it? And it's her versus them. Meaning, when you still got these skills, you still got these swag, you still got everything, you want to make sure that this is dedicated to your wife. 
You know, she should get all that energy. She should get all that good feedback. And you don't want to, like I said, entertain the other side. You don't want to entertain them. You know, them, when they say a compliment, in my mind, and I'll take you how I receive it, I receive it as, it's comical to me. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's like, uh, what is, it's, it's hilarious to me to get a confident, a compliment outside of my wife. But it's also weird to me as well because my wife compliments me a lot, you know, and I like that. She builds me up. So me to get a compliment. And this is the crazy thing about it, right? And my wife was talking about talking a little bit with her girlfriend. Most of us are so naive that we don't even know we getting a compliment or we don't even know like we getting that, which is a good thing. You know, it's a good thing that we don't know it. You know, sometimes my wife might be like, yo, I think she was hitting on you. I was like, really? That's, I, I don't know how that goes. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, yeah, she said, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay. But when my wife says something like that, all my wife doing is establishing awareness when she's not around, right? So right there, she's also establishing awareness like, okay, you didn't know that, but I know that she was hitting on you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, yo, she was hitting on you. That's how chicks do sometimes, you know, they hit on you in a slick way. So now when I'm out in public, I'm turned up with my swag and stuff, and I come across that, I know the right direction and response to not entertain or fall into that trap. You see? See? You see how that works? You see how that works where your wife still have your back even when she's not around you? You know what I'm saying? So she just want to let you know about these traps that get set up that us a lot of men fall for, for the okie doke. You know what I'm saying? We'll fall for the okie doke. And, you know, because women, women got game. Don't think they don't got no game. They got a lot of game. And if you naive and you're not aware to it, you'll fall right into the trap. You'll fall right into the trap. And that's not a good place that you want to be in. I just wanted to talk to you guys today. Where I'm at. Probably at right, a little bit over 30 minutes and stuff. I just wanted to let you know. I just want to see if you guys feel like you still have it, you know. Actually, I've seen a couple of you guys. I'm going to mention no names. I've seen a couple of you guys post on Facebook this past weekend with some young folks swag. <laughs> Cousin-in-law. <laughs> yeah, he said, I got on my young boy swag this weekend. I've seen him. He had to cut, cut up pants and a shirt and everything, posing and stuff. But, you know, it's cool to feel like that every now and then. You know what I mean? It's cool to feel like that. You know, do that, man. Go out there and buy you some clothes. Feel like, see if you can wear some of that stuff they wearing out there nowadays. See if you can fit in. See if you can blend in. Blend in. You don't want to blend in too much. You don't want police stop you. But <laughs> see, if you, see if you can blend in. They'll be like, oh, okay, who is this? Go to one of them high school games and stuff just to see if you can blend in and see what they say. They might be cracking jokes now if you ain't wearing it right. They're, they're right on you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's good talking with you guys, man. Like I said, it's Men's Monday. Um, next Monday, I think I already got a topic. I, have a, I had a lot of topics that I really wanted to talk about. I can't really decide. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to revisit this topic because um, it's getting closer to summertime. It's getting closer to spring break time. It's getting closer to good weather time. So, I want to visit the topic next Monday. God's trip. Mm -hmm. What is God's trip all about, right? So, that's going to be next Monday. God's trip, right? Because my wife went over what a girl's trip is. Now, I'm going to go over what a guy's trip is. You know what I'm saying? How a guy's trip should be planned, handled, all that stuff. You know, how we go about it, you know? And so, I'm going to go over that. Um, any of you guys on, chime in again. Any of you ladies on, you got your husband. Um, and they want to know 
how is the right way to have a guy's trip, a great way to have a guy's trip and enjoy life, and also come back to appreciate you a little bit more, well, a little bit or a lot more, tune in. Have your husband tune in to this if you're on ladies. Have your husband tune in to figure out how does the guy's trip grow down and how does it make them come back in, jump your bones, <laughs> right? So we'll go over that next Monday. And tomorrow is no nope, Wednesday. Wednesday we will have me and my wife. We do our um, marriage porn talk, which was to group. Uh, we're doing open. We're doing the acronym of porn. Remember, porn stands for pure, open, renew, and navigate. So tomorrow, I mean, look, I keep saying tomorrow, Wednesday, we're doing the O in porn, which is for open. That one's going to be good. Uh, Married couples, tune in. Again, follow us on IG, marriage, porn, acronym, p.o.r.n. Also, you can go to direct dot me backslash Barker Worldwide. Visit our website. Visit our content. We got everything. We got classes starting and everything like that. Visit that. Go through our bio. See how we um, came about this. You know, how we established this. This was really on my heart um, from a couple years ago because, again, I just want to let you know that me and my wife wasn't in a good space. So when we wasn't in that good space, what we started doing, we started investing into our marriage. And if you and your spouse is not in a good space right now, that's what you should be headed toward. First, invest in God, then invest in your marriage with counseling, family counseling, um, and pre you know, if you're not married, premarital counseling and marital counseling. You know, those are great investments because at the end of the day, you want to leave a legacy, fellas. That's what we hear. We want to leave a legacy. We want to leave a mark in the world. We want to leave a tradition that can't be broken. And we want to break the curse of the past, you know, through what we went through with our family. The bad things that didn't help our family grow and the bad things that we saw as we grew up that now we can take head and be the head of the household and be the man that we need to be for our families. And continue to grow, guys. So, thank you for tuning in. This wraps it up. I'm going to say later to you guys right here on IG. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all have a great night. Great night, IG. Y'all have a good night, too, as well. 